First off, I want to thank the uh, brave men and women who work behind the wall. I want to thank them on a national level because their job goes on How recognizing. How did they try to turn a guard? Well, President, uh, correctional officer. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, but correctional officer. Uh How are you guys doing today? It's Anthony Ganji, host of Tear Talk. I want to do a video today about training. Russ on Monday or Tuesday is going to discuss how we need to get as much training we can as a department for our FTOs, our field training officers. But I want to discuss the importance of if we provide them with the training, we also have to give them a chance to apply that training. And I think sometimes that's where departments lack. Sometimes we just send people to get the training and don't give them any chance to implement what was taught. It's just, let's get a body there for the training. Let's show that we're willing to send them out there. But when the person comes back, no one sits down and asks them, what do they learn? And how can that be applied here? So I want to discuss that uh, for this episode. And again, Russ will talk about the importance of sending our field trainer officers out as much as we can to get make sure that they're trained, they get top information, and that we get the best we can for our front line. So when we come back from our sponsors, that's our topic. Now, guys, if you have it, the show, Tear Talks for you, you know, brave men and women that work in that field of correction. So please subscribe, interact, engage, comment, hit that bell. The bell's going to notify you every time I post a video. I stand by for our sponsor. I wanted to attend a university that had an intelligence program. I wanted to look at problems different. I wanted to increase my critical thinking abilities. AMU offered those avenues to expand. Obtaining your degree as an adult, you're actually paying yourself and investing in yourself. You can't put a dollar on it, it's priceless. It's something that can never be taken away from you. American Military University, learn from the leader. Thank you guys for listening to our sponsor. You know, Russ will compliment the one part of the video on the need for our field training officers to get trained and be able to provide that training to our front line and keep those field training officers current, up to date because they're, gonna, they're the ones that are gonna have that ability to relay that message to the front line. But I wanna tell you something. This video really goes out to someone who had a very big impact on my career. I'm gonna send him the video. I won't say his name, but I'll send him the video. This person saw that I had the want to train, that I wanted to learn things, and he gave me the opportunity. And for me, when I first got into this career, I was very interested in gangs. It just, it is what it is. And I was very interested in their history. I had a good understanding of their history. And by understanding that history, I was able to understand these little subtle markers that they may have had that was able to be set specific. So I was identifying inmates right down to the set. What, what are you? I'm a blood. What's set? Because it looks like you're this. And they'd be just like, wow. You know, and we'd have that respect where, okay, so am I right? Ah, uh, you got that. Because again, by knowing the history, you may know or get a chance to understand some of those markers that most people would ignore. It goes way beyond the surface, you know, and history doesn't change. So if you can interpret the history, you can interpret some of the markers and really be set specific. And that really gets you a respect and again, ultimately the admission. But what was unique about this leader was first off, he saw, he took time to know that I wanted to be trained that I had an interest in it. And then he provided me with the opportunity, which I'm gonna tell you right now, guys, if you have the want to learn and the opportunity to do it, you're untouchable. You are untouchable. But there's another factor in there that he was also able to do. He gave me the chance to apply what I learned. And that's where the growth comes in, both for the individual, but also for the agency because it starts with that one person taking stuff in, wanting to learn, giving the opportunity to learn, and then bringing it back to the facility where they can apply it. And let me tell you about how good of a leader he was. He didn't just send me to training for the sake of sending me to a training. He was very curious as to what I picked up from the training. So the moment I would come back from a training, he would call me into his office, and we would discuss everything. It was just a really good, detailed conversation. I mean, it actually motivated me to come and work a little early just so we could share our discussion because I was young and I, I wanted to learn. And he would give me the okay to start applying what I've learned. Let's see if it works here. And that is such a great motivator. 
It shows that you're appreciated. And it just gives you the opportunity to, to really cement that knowledge. Because, guys, you can learn things all day. But if you don't get a chance to apply it, you're going to forget it. And he got right on that. I mean, this is what I learned. Well, let's try it. Let's see if it works here. So to complement Russ's discussion, which will be probably Monday or Tuesday, when you give people a chance to go to an, uh, a learning, a training, when you give them the opportunity and you have people that really want to do it, in most cases, I would like to think they're our field training officers because they should be the ones that really want to learn because they're the ones that are in a position to teach. But when you're given that opportunity and you give it to someone who wants to do it, and then you give them the chance to apply what they've learned, serious changes are gonna happen. Changes that could really be a benefit for this department, for any department. So again, I wanna thank the person for sending me out, but it was just a great road that I had at the beginning of my career, and it kept me motivated every day till today. So that, that's nice footprint this individual has on my career and I'll never forget that again here I am a young kid wanting to learn you gave me the opportunity to learn and then you gave me the chance to apply it and uh, I thank you as always guys the show is tear talk if you have it please subscribe interact engage comment hit that bell that bell will teach up oh, sorry messed up that bell will remind you or notify you every time I post a video stay safe